You guys, we're talking about stuffed animals here. Yeah, these stuffed animals are selling for crazy big money. Let's Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money plush, items to be on the lookout for that you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These Bolos, Bolo stands for Be On The Lookout, were shared by members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I asked them to share their best plush Bolo and get ready to have your socks knocked off. You guys, we're talking about stuffed animals here. Yeah, these stuffed animals are selling for crazy big money. Let's get into it. Let's get started. I've never said let's get into it. <laughs> let's get started. All right, the first one. Buyer purchased two Five Nights at Freddy's items. They came from my huge video game plush buy. Cost per item, 78 cents. She asked me to combine shipping. Of course I did. The sale brought me full price on both items to $118.98. And it is two... Funko, 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 I think it's Funko, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, plush right here. Nice pickup. From two hours ago on eBay, found at a thrift store for 79 cents and buyer paid shipping. It is a rare vintage Mervyn's Green Dino Dinosaur Plush T-Rex Korea stuffed animal. $42 right there. Check it out. It's a dinosaur. Somebody put, do you think it helps to put Korea in the title? I noticed older plushies are made there, but not newer ones. And they said, yeah, I noticed that too, which is why I added it. I'm honestly not sure it helps search results at all, though. I just thought I'd give it a shot. I don't know. Does anybody put where the thing is manufactured? Let me know in the comments. I don't typically, unless I will put Italy or Germany on certain items um, sometimes, depending on how much room I have in the listing. Not for plush, though. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. That's a great question. Picked up at the Goodwill for $4.99, which is higher than most of my local Goodwill plush prices. Most are $1.99 to $2.99, but a quick lens search made the slightly higher price tag a no-brainer. Took best offer of $54.99 plus shipping because there's not a ton of online traffic for this plush. It's Funna? Fina? Funna? Fina? <laughs> the... The Crew Painting Rainbows Plush Anime Doll. There you go. Anything that looks like that, look it up. Because I've never seen that one before. Picked up for $5 at a local auction. I took a best offer, but it wasn't much lower than full asking price. 10-inch plush, Walmart exclusive. Funko, Five Nights at Freddy's. It was a Walmart exclusive. $202.50 for this guy. It's the Golden Freddy Foz Bear. Um, Rebel, the Rebel reseller, talks a lot about looking for items that are uh, Walmart exclusive, Walgreens, exclusive to certain stores that are not sold in abundance. So those items typically sell for more money. Check out the Rebel reseller on YouTube, and she is also now on Whatnot. If you guys are not on Whatnot, I have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you use that to join, and the Rebel Reseller is selling plush on Whatnot. What? It's so awesome. You guys go check her out, um, show her some love with a follow, and grab that $15 below to shop. Uh, you don't have to spend that with me. You can even spend that with Rebel if you want. My best one to date is a 1975 World's Fair Henry the Dog plush, very nice condition, even had a non-faded tush tag, paid $1 at an estate sale in 2020. It sold for $249.99 plus shipping. Okay, so they're sharing a really old uh, sale, but hey, they have documentation of it, so I'm all about that. Got at the Goodwill Benz, Jelly Cat Mellow mallow hippo say that three times fast mellow mallow hippo mellow mallow hippo mellow mallow hippo <laughs> it wasn't that hard spent less than a dollar sold within a week for full asking price i comped at 15 more than the last sold um oh wow uh so it's a hippo and it's a very uh well it's only 16 inches hard to find retired 215 dollars for that guy Wowza. If you haven't seen my jelly cat video, check it out for more big money jelly cat to search for. I woke up to this sale this morning. I bought it at the Goodwill for $1.99. 
I sold it for full asking price of 45 plus shipping. When I originally brought it home, my daughter went nuts over it. She claimed it was her child. It was her childhood. It took four months to sell. <laughs> so her daughter must have seen it. I don't know how old her daughter is. I don't know how old this plush is, but it's a Merry Makers dog man. I've never heard of dog man. 22 inch plush, Dave Pilkey, large, no tags. $45 is what it sold for. Picked up at Savers on their wall of bagged plush. Paid $4.99 for three plush. Sold for just Doby or Doby. D-O-B-B-Y for $199. <laughs> wow. Best plush flip to date. Wow. Look at this guy. Never. Never have I seen it. Oh, it's Harry Potter. That's why. I don't think I've ever seen Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Doobie Doby House, elf knit stuffed animal. It's a toy beanie doll from Hallmark. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Paid $2 at a yard sale. Sold in hours for $61. It's a Build-A-Bear Gingerbread Hello Kitty Christmas Holiday Plush. This one sold on Mercari. I'll tell you guys time and time and again, put your Build-A-Bear on Mercari. Check out this video if you have not seen it. A lot of times Build-A-Bear will go for more on Mercari than they do eBay. Now, what I will tell you is if you have a Build-A-Bear and you cannot find it anywhere else, I would auction it on eBay first at a high starting price. If it doesn't sell, then I would cross post it to multiple platforms, but definitely include Mercari. Um, if you're not on Mercari, there's a link down below. You can get $10 to shop with my referral link, another $20 to shop when you use that referral link and you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So that's $30 total to shop. $2 sold for $43 in a few hours. There were no comps, so I listed high compared to others of the same size, but suspect I could have gotten more, but totally happy with the flip. It is an E&J Classic LTD Sheltie Collie Brown White Realistic Plush Stuffed Dog and sold it for $49.99. Yes, the E&J is definitely a brand to look for. Realistic in the title, very important. If you can't find any others like it, definitely do an auction first. Picked up for $1.99. <laughs> At my local thrift store, this is what I'm talking about. I took a best offer, uh, was, I'm sorry. I took a best offer, which was a hundred less than asking price. Original vintage, vintage Douglas line. Vintage, it's a Douglas Cuddle Toys Bridget Border Collie plush stuffed animal, $400. $400. Douglas is another brand to look for. Oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness, somebody wrote in her comment that, she put another word, but that stinks for me. I had one and sold it for like $5. Oh. Did you sell it at a garage sale for $5? If you're watching, I've got to know, where did you sell it for $5? Because you probably didn't put it on a platform for $5. Wow. Wow. And then I find them on Facebook Marketplace for 10 to 20 and they sell easily for 60 to 80. It's a Melissa and Doug stuffed tiger. And this is what it looks like. And then this one says paid five, sold for 40. I'm not sure where she sold them at or what they are. Uh, there's no additional information. So I don't even know who these characters are. Do you guys know who these characters are? Um maybe a cartoon or I don't, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments, but she paid five and sold them for 40. Bought at the Goodwill for $9.99. Sold on Mercari for a best offer of $180. And I recently did a Build-A-Bear video. It looks like this. And I think I might've shared this bear in that video. It is a Build-A-Bear Blue Grumpy Bear, retired rare plush, sold for $180. That's fantastic. Get those Build-A-Bear on Mercari. Okay, picked up at the Goodwill bins, went on vacation, probably paid a dollar. It sold two times in the same day. <laughs> that means somebody probably didn't pay. It is a... Sold two times in the same day, but it's Poshmark. So maybe they canceled the order? Hmm. I'm not sure. There's no title. Somebody... Okay, so somebody put, what is this even called? And they said, Hall... Um, Conscious 
discipline feeling buddies. This is what it looks like. It looks like they're little characters that you pull out to show how you're feeling. And it sold for $108. Okay. Pay $2 for it. Forget where I got it from. It's a Build-A-Bear 25th celebration. And it sold for $90 on Mercari. Is it um, Hello Kitty? I think it's Hello Kitty. You guys always look up Hello Kitty. I bought this Trump plush at the Salvation Army for $4.99 and sold it for $42 plus shipping. My eBay store is Fortune 88, and she is a Bolo Buddies member, and this is what her eBay store looks like. It's a rare Trumpy Bear 22-inch Donald Trump president with the flag cape stuffed plush. Paid $1.69 at the Goodwill Bins and sold overnight for a best offer of $300. It is a rare FAO Schwartz Baby Moose Cream and Blue. Wow. Never seen that one. $300. Got for free, sold for $80 on Mercari. eBay sold comps were over $150. It is a um, Ban Presto Mobile Suit Gundman Zaku Super Rare Plush Toy Doll. So I'm not sure why she sold it for 80 if the comps are over 150, but maybe she was just looking for the quick flip. Okay, bought it at the bin, so probably paid a dollar or so. Took a best offer of 577 after a couple of months. Whoa, Rare Stife Seahorse, Kasi Siggy Dragon, 1959, Vintage Plush Stuffed Animal. $577, and she got it at the bins. Did you hear that? $577 from the Goodwill Bins. If you don't know what the Goodwill Bins is, it's buying things by the pound. Wow, that's incredible. Almost passed this up at the bins, but check the sales. Went for a quick flip, but others were selling for $145. Rare Gund Snuffles Panda Bear. Sold it for $95. Found this at a yard sale in Michigan for $0.25. Cents. Sold within a few days and at my original asking price. This is also a Mercari sale. Furby Babies Tiger 2000 Limited Edition. Sold for $125 plus shipping. Highest eBay sale to date. Paid. Buyer paid. It's a rare Playful Heart Monkey Care Bear. And this is what it looks like. It looks like she sold it for $650. Uh, she paid $3.99 for it. She is in Canada. So I'm not sure how that, like, what the conversion is for the United States on the $650. But either way, I'm guessing it's probably pretty, pretty high. Bought for 50 cents at a church rummage sale. It is a Precious Moments pink terry cloth plush baby girl doll. Hard to find. $55. Anything that is terry cloth or um, what's the other stuff? Uh, terry cloth or thermal. Look it up. Those um, textures are very good for resale. Uh, usually they're children's babies smaller kids. They have the sewn eyes and those typically do well. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Watch for more of these videos. Uh, this is a series on my channel, so you can go back and watch other plush videos as well. And if you want to share a plush bolo, come on over to the Facebook group. It looks like this and look for the share your best plush bolo. Thanks for watching.